All right, everybody, this is Ross, the Fig Boss. Today, we're gonna go around on a little bit of a journey here throughout the yard uh, because I have a number of varieties that I wanna show you guys that are very, very similar to each other. Um, what we're talking about today is a fig called Dotado. And I have a number of different Dotado sources. <laughs> Figs that are very, very similar to Dotado. I have my, uh, one of my potted trees right here that I believe is Dotado from Bode. Um, there's a number of different Dotados that truthfully, um, they're in such a high quantity and they're all very slightly different, kind of just like the Hardy Chicago's. You know, you have a variety that lives in one place or adapts to one location over time and the epigenetics change and they have slightly different characteristics. Although if you did a DNA test on all of them, is there really a difference between them? And the answer may be no, but certainly they're showing different characteristics and therefore one of these may be better than the other. And for that reason, I'm trialing a number of different ones. Um, in the past, I don't think we've ever done a video on Dotado other than the very, very first, some of the first fig reviews we've ever done here on this channel. Many years ago, if you go back to like some of my earliest videos, uh, I used to have a Kadota tree, which is a synonym for Dotado, um, that I got from Lowe's and I got it as a pretty large size tree. It cost me 50 bucks. Uh, I had it in a 20 gallon size pot. The tree produced a massive amount of fruit. I was happy about it. I loved it. And then we had five, a five day stretch of rain that year. And all of the figs on the tree were ripening relatively around the same time. And that five day stretch of rain just soaked right into the fruits because the skin of Dotado is just not conducive to be grown in this climate. It's just not. Uh, some varieties have a skin that sheds the water and the water slides right off and it doesn't absorb into the fruit. Dotado is one of those varieties that acts like a sponge sometimes. Now, is there a variety or a source of Dotado that doesn't act like that? That's my personal goal to find something that potentially doesn't split it doesn't um doesn't crack and also doesn't have that terrible skin that i know so well feeling the skin on this it really does feel like all the other dotados so i don't know if this dotado here is going to make the cut i actually had received this as something else from a friend turned out to be a dotado uh, this wasn't, wasn't supposed to be Dotado. Um, what I've been doing with this, actually, I made myself a gluten-free pizza um, this past weekend and uh, put some Dotado figs on it. I find that it's just one of the better figs, especially the honey types that are more juicy, melon-like in flavor. They go really well on a pizza. Um, they're a bit more mild that way, and I just I find that they're better suited. Now, the other ones we're growing, I'm going to show you guys some of the other trees that I have, other sources. We got like Moscatel Bronco. We have Corinth. Um, last year, we actually had a Dotado that was in a, uh, a big grow bag that I got from a, a local friend of mine. Remember we, we did that video, guys, on the bonsai figs? One of them was a Dotado. He didn't know what they were. Eventually I ripened some. some. One was a green Aishia, the other one was a Dotado. The Dotado produced a ridiculous amount of Breva and it ripened main crop by August 1st, which is insane. It ripened right alongside the earliest figs I have in the yard over there, little ruby that's in the ground. So for all intents and purposes, I know we think about Dotado as maybe a mid-season variety, at least I did for many years. It's actually a very early fig. Uh, when it reaches maturity, you keep those apical buds intact. Your tree gets some size. Um, it, it really does. Can, it really can produce early, and it can produce brava. So here is the fig itself. Again, I don't think I've ever reviewed this outside of the first time we, the first videos we did, because I got rid of this and never went back. 
You know, Lou Monty, for anyone who watches his videos, he's got a Peter's Honey that he loves. And uh, I actually found a source of Peter's Honey from Rain Tree that I actually decided, wow, that looks pretty interesting, and decided to grow that. So I'm actually growing that, although I have one in the ground and I have one here in a container, but I do think that's actually mislabeled. That's the problem with getting fig trees, guys, from nurseries. They mislabel fig trees all the time. Now, of course, they have a Dotado. They sell a Peter's Honey, excuse me. And Peter's Honey is, again, the same thing as Dotado, just a different name. Um, so they have the right variety. It's just a matter of me getting the right fig. It's not like they're mislabeling it on their website. It's just they sent me probably the wrong one. And looking at the leaves... I probably am, I feel pretty good that I have the wrong thing, although I haven't seen any fruit. But you can really determine a dotado very easily by the leaves. We'll look at that in a minute. This is again the fig, and you can see that the eye is typically blocked up with honey. It has this shape that's more elongated. Um, it has that kind of that eye that is pointed outwards, like an inside out belly button or something. It's a bit strange, but the eye typically tends to hang outwards a little bit. And that eye is typically plugged up with honey. You can actually see the, like the inside of the flowers here where the eye is. The flowers kind of go outwards. That's why it's kind of like an inside out belly button. And it's a really good way to do, uh, actually identify this fig is the overall shape and that eye. Of course, the pulp, the skin color should be yellow. The pulp's amber in uh, really warm, well-ripened figs and, and climates that are dry with maybe even the fig wasp, you might see the inside turn red, which is where you might see the berry flavor come in, uh, which would really be a spectacular thing that I'm definitely hoping for. This particular one here got some mold at the eye, and I don't think the honey really plugged it up, so sometimes this just happens. Overall, very productive fig. It's a commercial fig. It's been around for many hundreds of years. Um, again, produces a good Brava crop, produces early. Um, I would even say it's probably even relatively hardy. Um, does need prote protection here if planted in the ground in a 7A. You might get away with this in a 7B. You might. Um, <clears throat> so, we're going to show you guys some of the trees I'm growing in a minute. We'll look at the leaves. We'll look at the tree. Let's taste the fruit. So this fig is um, texturally, is that a word? The texture has, is a different texture than most other varieties. It's kind of like um, applesauce. Yeah, it's kind of like applesauce. It's fig applesauce, um, which is not great. For me, I don't, I don't love that. Um, the inside, so it's very jelly-like, very loose, not very thick, not very sticky. And I wouldn't even say approaching a jelly. Um, I would say something like a white triana, Canadrio, Can Canadria, Atriano, Long de Dute. Those are figs that are more jelly-like on the inside. This has got like an applesauce texture. Very sweet. And this is kind of what people think of as the true, typical poster child as a honey fig. So when people talk about honey figs, this is really what they're talking about. Amber interior with a honey-like flavor to it. That's very sweet, not that complex. Uh, and really not a lot of fig flavor, but some there. This is, I would guarantee you, a much better fig when planted in the ground here and a much better fig in better climates, fig growing climates than my own. So overall, I would say here, the best that fig will ever probably do is probably a four out of five. 
I hope I can eat my words someday on that one. But not the tastiest fig in my opinion. But I, sh I kid you not, this is my grandfather's favorite fig. He told me when he was here from Florida just not too long ago, we were tasting a number of different varieties. He's had a number of different varieties over the years. I've, I have a tree that I gave to him down in Florida. He's having pretty good success. This is his favorite fig. He's had this many times before at a younger age. It's been around forever. Um, this is the one that he knows the most. So a lot of old heads love this fig. You won't find much popularity of this one amongst newer fig growers that have tried many, many varieties. I think it just is a matter of what did you grow up with? What do you know the most? Um, very good pro productivity. It even produces double sometimes. Tight node spacing, you can see here, the leaves are very close together. Uh, here's what the leaves look like. Typically they're single spade or they're three lobes like this. And the edges have this serration to them. And it's very easy to identify it by the leaves, in my opinion. And then again, once you see the fruit, it's pretty much a guarantee. Here is the um, Peter's honey that I have, or supposed to be Peter's honey from Rain Tree, and you can see the leaves just do not match. So I will be sending them an email, as all of you guys should, if you have a fig that's mislabeled, contact the person you got it from. So something's not right here. Um, let's bring you guys over to some of the other trees. I was very hopeful actually for that Peter's Honey Rain Tree. I, that's actually not the first fig I had mislabeled from Rain Tree Nursery, believe it or not. We have a Moscatel Bronco over here, which I am hoping that this is not even in the same class as Dotado, but, I'm, um, but I believe it is. And you can see it down here. This is a younger tree that I have. Very, very productive. Again, produces early. It's gonna be one of the earliest main crop figs I have without any head start. Produces the leaves exactly the same, same leaf pattern. Very productive. That's Moscatel Bronco. So it has different names, right? Dotado, Kadota, Peter's Honey, Moscatel Bronco. There is a type of Dotado or similar Dotado I'm looking for called Gata de Mel that Pons has. I think uh, a grower down in Louisiana. Um, oh man, Joe, Joe Puckett, the Southern Figs Forum guy he had a variety of dotado that was very interesting or gata de mel that was very interesting so there is some uh, more room to grow and other varieties to try this here is corinth getting established it's very difficult with this dry soil especially this year and this peat moss here does not help but we got the irrigation running right now pretty desperately these trees need that irrigation. Um, next year, we're gonna put on mountains of mulch, I think, on a couple areas of, uh, of where I'm growing figs because it just, this year has been so dry that it's, it's been a little bit insane. Here is um, the Peter's Honey from Rain Tree I have in the ground. Again, it's just, I'm not seeing that leaf pattern here. Um, but, and again, we'll see when it fruits. I won't know until next year. I hope. That's the problem. Some varieties take a while before they fruit, before you really know what they are. Um, Peter's Honey and Dotado is just not one of those figs. They fruit very easily, reliably, early, larger quantities. I think those are all that I have um, in terms of the Dotado types. And that I think kind of really spells really a lot of the details about this variety out for you guys. Um, I hope that this video was informative. Hope you guys got something out of this. You can learn something about these, one of the standard fig varieties. Um, I believe this tree got a head start, but I don't know. I really don't recall. Um, if it didn't get a head start, no, it did get a head start. Yeah, this came out of the greenhouse. But, um, 
this will be right up there with some of the earliest figs that ripen here in my yard. So interesting. And I think if we can have one in the ground, we can protect it, produces Brava. That's not a bad choice, not a bad option. So we'll see you guys soon, right? Hit that subscribe button. Check out our blog, figboss.com. We'll catch you guys for the next video. Take care.